So um, human societies have grown up at the very what we now call the local scale, living in communities, traditionally um, using the area in which they live to produce food for all their needs, social, economic, um, and provisioning. And on the whole, we've been very successful at that scale. That's why the population is thriving in the world. What's happening now is um, really twofold. One, there are more and more people, and that means those pressures on local landscapes are much greater than they used to be. And so we're finding those ver different needs from the local landscape are conflicting with each other. We can't do everything all in the same place. And secondly, we're living in an increasingly globalized world. So there are connections between societies that are sometimes good, but quite often they're damaging. Over use by one community may affect local people in ways that they have no way of responding to. And that complexity of the cross-scale um, dynamics is making this a much more difficult problem than we'd realized. So the, the population growth um, issue is really a population growth and demographic change. Um, and it's a very complicated picture. Different parts of the world are in different stages of what's called a demographic transition. And some of them are not um, following the same dynamics as others have. It doesn't appear to be really predictable. So we have mature areas of the world, um, basically the West, Japan, Korea and so on, where the population is aging and the concern is about the number of old people dependent on a reducing number of um, producers in their society. And then in other areas of the world, actually many of the poorer regions, we have a youth bulge. Many, many young people who still have to go through their reproductive years. Now that's a problem and it looks a horrible problem from the environment point of view because these Areas that are already over um, used in many ways are, have a very increasing population growth. But it could also be a solution. Um, if we don't worry too much about international migration, if we're able to accommodate that, um, there can be a supply of um, employees and supporters to these aging communities elsewhere in the world. I, I talked about four levels in this um, really complicated hierarchy that goes from local almost to planetary scale uh, where we can intervene to make things um, better in ways that we have not tried to do in the past. So one is at the very local scale to make sure that our interventions are actually in concert with what's going on with the environment. Let's use ecological resilience, um, biological adaptation, all the things that nature has provided us with that give us mechanisms for coping as well as the pleasure of a diverse life on Earth. So at that local scale, I think there are things we haven't tried. The second scale, I talked about two, which are really intervening with the damaging drivers of environmental change. One intervening with climate change, um, using geoengineering, which is a set of rather controversial technological interventions, and one using just better land use planning which is essentially gardening the planet, growing the right things in the right places to meet the needs of people. Now both of those offer solutions that are actually incredibly efficient. They also have costs, risks and obstacles to do with governance, to do with different people being winners and losers, and to do with um, the fact that we tend to organise our world around nation states and these solutions mostly transcend international boundaries. So that's, that's a major obstacle, but the, the, there are solutions out there. The fourth level, which I guess is the goal ultimately, is just to um, manage our world better, to have a, a kind of fully integrated planning system that is not top down, um, but, but is, um, has, has an overall strategy that seeks to optimise all the things that people want and allows a way for local communities to connect. And I think that's the big challenge for us, is how to get there, this integrated system for the environment that's driven by what local communities want and need.